we on? Uh, let me do a quick check. Yes, we are. whoop de doo All right. Hello, everyone. It's been a while. Uh, I haven't uploaded in a while. I know I've gotten lazy, but then again, I've been doing a lot of stuff. Um, I got a new job. Uh, class is back in session. Um, other than that, everything's the same. I'm still lazy. <laughs> But yeah, we got a Nintendo Direct, and I decided, you know what, we are going to react to it. So, we got five minutes, or maybe four minutes. So, before we get to the actual Direct, I want to go over my predictions. So, I'll, I made all this on Twitter. If, <laughs> if you, you should follow me on Twitter, by the way. But, um... Getting right to it. Uh, let me let me scroll through my Twitter. Do 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 do. Ah, here we go. Okay, so obviously we know about all these leaks and stuff. So here are some of my predictions. Some of these are my personal ones, and some of these are from like other things, and some of them are like really crazy ideas. So. It'd be funny if, like, ha I'd be surprised if, like, half of these got were right. Seriously. So, I have two separate posts for Nintendo and one for the Pokemon stuff. For Luigi's Mansion, it's not like I don't care. It's more like I kind of feel like it won't be anything major. It'll just probably, like, hey, we'll review a new part of the hotel and maybe a new mode. Um, don't get me wrong. I'm, I'm probably going to get Luigi's Mansion 3, but... Eh. Anyway, my predictions are, uh, I think we're going to get a Banjo-Kazooie port or a remaster. And if they remaster it, I even came up with a really dumb name called it banjo re -Dewey. <laughs> It already sounds so dumb. Um, next up is Pikmin 3. Uh, I'm pretty sure that is going to be a Wii U port coming, probably in December or maybe January. Um, I think we're going to get a, I, well, I hope. A new Wario Land. Uh, my honest opinion, I think a new Wario game should be coming to Switch pretty soon. Um, yeah. Uh, for Mario Maker 2, I think we're going to get uh, some new updates, including a new theme based on Super Mario Bros. 2, baby! Game of the year every year. Then we have all, well, obviously we know about Overwatch, but I added something, a little thing, saying that we will probably also get some Nintendo exclusive skins. So maybe something like... Um, Tracer in a zero and Tracer in a zero suit or something. I don't know. <laughs> Next up, we have uh, an SN SNES online. They, they're probably going to be talking about that. Um, I mean, hopefully. <laughs> uh, the new that Game Freak Take game Town. I think it's going to get delayed to 2020. I don't think we're going to get an actual release date. The, uh, if we do, it's probably spring 2020, but it's probably delayed. I also think we'll get a new Kirby spinoff announced for next year. Um, that would be really cool. Um, it'd be cool if it would be something different, maybe like a Kirby RPG or, um, or a Kirby Air Ride too, please. <laughs> um, another, some, a couple other things. I'm going to fly through these. We've got two minutes left. Uh, a Dragon Quest collection, probably like the, maybe the originals. Um, <laughs> not something like Dragon Quest Eight or anything. Maybe like Dragon Quest One through Four or something. I don't know. But I think we'll get a Dragon Quest collection because we have all these Final Fantasy ports and all these older game ports. I feel like it's probably going to happen. Another crazy idea I think I, that might happen, a Metal Gear Solid port. I don't know which one it'll be. I'm not familiar with Metal Gear Solid, but I think it might happen. Konami's been releasing more games than usual. Um, I think we're going to get a The King of Fighters 15, that game. I think we're going to get that confirmed for Switch. Um, I have another one on here, but I'm pretty sure we already know what this is, given my last prediction that I just said. So let's uh, ignore that. Uh, are you okay? <laughs> um, next up, I think we're going to get a new like first-party eShop game. So you know like on the 3DS where we had games like Pushmo and Sakura Samurai I think we might get a little game like that. I mean, we kind of already had one like that, which was Flip Wars, but I th in my opinion, I think that game kind of flopped. <laughs> I don't think anyone bought that game. <laughs> and then I also have a DLC update on Fire Emblem and obviously the Giant Sloop third-party games. Um, 
And that's it. Oh, it's 6 o'clock. Oh! Ooh. I didn't even get to my Pokemon stuff. All right. Show me what you got, Ninty. Come on, let's go. Yep, it's Overwatch. And this quality is really bad. Yeah, we got Overwatch, guys. Hey. <laughs> hey. Well, <laughs> there's that. <laughs> it happened, guys. Well, I mean, at least they got the lead to game over with. <laughs> Heroes never die. Heroes never die, huh? Over 100 Game of the Year awards. <laughs> I am with you. You know what? Well, we'll, we'll go back down to 480p, just in case, you know, we get a lag fest that was the last time I recorded. We'll deal with the, the bad quality. I don't care. New ways to... Oh, Gyro. Nice, nice, nice. What? <laughs> Overwatch. Releasing now! <laughs> October 15th, just like Kotaku said. Hey, look, it's Shinya Takahashi. Everyone. I'll be your guide for today's Nintendo Direct. I'm Shinya Takahashi. Hello. And that was, of course, the latest trailer for Overwatch by Blizzard Entertainment. The game is scheduled for release on Nintendo Switch October 15th, so please look forward to it. All right. Okay, let's get into our first batch of Nintendo Switch headlines. Now they're let's just getting look. straight to it. <laughs> no explanation whatsoever. You got to see these floors of the hotel for yourself. Oh, Mansion 3 takes starting place with a, in a and then with hotel. Luigi. Where every floor has a distinct Castle theme McFrights, unlike any other. Garden suite, Case in point, Tomb Suites. suites. Ooh. I mean, a pyramid inside a hotel? It really do be like that, my guy. Guess we should expect some mummies. Oh. Sands, and booby traps. Oh. As for oh. the other floors. What the? There's a disco floor. <laughs> what? <laughs> a pirate themed restaurant. You get the idea. May not they be put a dance club amenities, in Luigi's Mansion. But there's a rogues gallery of bosses to check out before you, well, check out. Oh, so it's a demo? Speaking of amenities, oh. step right up to this all new attraction Scream Party. Scream Party. In this party mode, there's a Luigi team and a Gooigi team. Oh. With only one Nintendo Switch system, two to eight players can battle it out. Can you do it online, so though? Which team can defeat the most ghosts? Collect the most coins by piloting floaties with the Poltergeist G00 and break the most targets. The G00. Hey, even the Luigi well, well, needs a break zero, zero. Luigi's Mansion 3 opens its doors on October 31st, just in time for Halloween. Spooky. Get a load of this new I knew it, a new Kirby, Kirby game. game. The combined forces of Kirby, Kirby, Wait Kirby, a minute. and Kirby are in for some wicked boss fights. We're it's this game on the 3DS. Uh, quest in town. Uh, and you and your team will pick pain. more jobs. This game was alright, it's just that get there's no weapons, one to play with. Get your gear and get ready. Some I mean, tough okay, I'll I'll download it again, there but... There 100 quests. So, get a look at your enemy and make sure you have the right jobs for the job. The I mean, why the couldn't they think of something new? As a team. Come on. You can play alone. At least add something new to the system. game. Team up via local wireless, or even play online. At least add something new to the game. It'll be time to unite with friends and players from around the world and overcome each challenging quest when Super Kirby Clash launches later today. And remember, it's free to start too. All right, yeah, yeah, I get it. This long-awaited, recently released RPG is getting a remake. Ah, Trials of Mana. After 25 years. Fans of the Mana series can look forward to the a lot of people are hyped about this game, game um, in the trilogy. Trials I'm not familiar with the Mana series, but hey. From six different characters, you'll choose a protagonist and two companions. 
The ones you choose will determine which of the interwoven stories you'll follow through this reimagined world. Now you remember what will happen to dear Jessica if I die. This interference will not be forgotten. Oh, As English. Advances, they'll have the opportunity to switch their class, allowing them to learn stronger special moves and spells. Step into the light. Or show your dark side when picking your class to change your character's. Ah, uh, you can choose the light of the or the lighter, Unlike lighter the darkness version. Characters have oh, have full range of movement, including jumping. Well, I'm gonna see if 720p will work party. for me now. We'll find out. Probably it's gonna be a no. <laughs> Yeah, Trials Man is cool. I'm kind of disappointed that it's there's more in the 3DS free to play game. Once again, from Kirby. The wheels of fate are beginning. <laughs> I'm to like, turn. come on, man. I'm like, why you gotta do that to me? It's like, why? <laughs> I was hoping for something new, but hey, I'll take it. It's it's nothing too big. Yeah, we're gonna have to work with the 480p. It really do be like that sometimes. <laughs> Live streams, it just happens. Find out what's in store for the beloved world April. of Trials cool. of Mana on April 24th. Cool. Does what happened to the crew of this doomed ship? Obra Din? The Oberdin vanished at sea in 1803, only to wash up four years later in Falmouth, oh, England, with no signs of survival. This graphic style looks pretty cool. The fate of the crew remains unknown. It's all black and white, but it's in 3D. As an insurance investigator Very for the interesting. East India Company, you must board the ship and uncover the mystery of its disappearance and return. Your analysis will rely heavily on one less than ordinary device. Use the power of the Momentum Mortem Pocket Watch to turn back time and witness each soul's last moment. What? Oh! Exactly what I give you. <laughs> this stream isn't ready to be for everyone anymore. <laughs> Observe the situation and record your logical deductions. Without you, the true tale will never be told. What brought the Oberdin to such an end? This looks pretty cool. I like the style. Little by little, tease apart the misfortunes of the ship and its crew to solve the mystery. Return of the Oberdin arrives on Nintendo Switch in fall 2019. Looks well, cool. Not gonna lie. There's a small town out there with a big secret. Uh-oh, it's town. Little town hero. Never leave town. <clears throat> that is the rule agreed upon by the people of this peaceful town and the castle protecting it. One day, there suddenly appeared a giant monster to defend the townspeople. One boy named Axe will stand up to Axe. Fight. And the only weapons he'll need are ideas. What? But to win one of these battles, you must know when to use them. Strategy is everything if there's any hope to win. During battle, you can move around to garner support from townspeople. Take advantage to gain the advantage. Seize every opportunity to protect your town in this new RPG from Game Freak. And almost all the music in the game was composed by Undertale creator Toby Fox. What? Really? What? Little Town Hero what? will make a stand <laughs> on Nintendo Switch <laughs> October 16th. Hold on a second. <laughs> you can pre-purchase and pre-order Game Freak the game was working with Toby today. Fox? What? <laughs> That's something. Fall oh. is coming to Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Oh. Tell me. We can finally tell me the release date of Challenger Pack 3. Banjo tell me. Kazooie. Tell me. Tell me Banjo right now. Kazooie. Right right now, please. Right now. The release date is today. Oh! Oh! After today's oh! Nintendo Direct, we'll broadcast today! a video detailing how to use Banjo and Kazooie. Oh, we watching that video right after this direct. Masahiro Sakurai. We're watching that video right after this direct. As a special treat. The video will begin immediately following the Nintendo Direct you're watching right oh, now. Oh! Wonderful! Thank you! To tide yourself over until the release of Banjo and Kazooie, please check it out. Thank you! Oh my gosh, yes! But first... Oh no! It's... It's Terry time, guys! <laughs> it's Terry time! 
What? What? 2017, 2012, 2011, 20... Oh, hold on, you're going too fast, matey. The Game & Watch, 1991. Neo Geo, yup, it's Terry time, guys. <laughs> guys, it's Terry time. Time for that Busta Wolf. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> you are cordially invited to Smash. Don't be late. It's... Oh no. Oh no. Yeah. <laughs> it's Terry time, guys. Everyone's trying to get this. Every... <laughs> Everyone's trying to get the smash. This the smash thing. Oh, nope, she don't get it. <laughs> nah, fam, you don't need it. <laughs> I don't even know who these people are. I never played King of Fighters. However, I probably will play. Oh, uh, now that it's confirmed, might as well. Yep, it's Terry time, guys. Terry faces the fury. Uh oh. Uh oh. There we. Sakurai did it to us. Cross fatal fury. Not king of fighters. November. Wait. That's in two months. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. You would expect it to be like maybe so, like December. Terry Bogard from Fatal Fury is joining the battle. That means we've revealed four of the five fighters included in the fighters pass. Can there really be only one left? Oh no! They are now. They're doing a second fighters pass. More DLC We're fighters to now. Confirm the development ah! of more DLC fighters for Super Smash Brothers Ultimate. Outside the Woo! fighters included in the more fighters, fighters will join the battle after the fighters. Other new fighters are in development. Okay, the battle isn't over yet. Okay, okay. <laughs> are they gonna tease another one? No, they're not. <laughs> so, what do you think? <laughs> I'm like, oh no, y'all gonna make me sweat. Additional fighters at the end of that segment. We'll have more to share with you in the future. For now, let's continue with some more Nintendo Frisk. Frisk. Ooh, it's Link's about Awakening. Time to wake the Windfish in the Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening, which means the next big adventure on Nintendo Switch is fast approaching. Big. Mm. You'll meet some strangely endearing islanders, face a series of puzzling tasks, Ooh. and encounter some oddly Wart. familiar faces. Anti Kirby. Happens, help Link escape Koholint Island before its mysteries get the best of him. With the okay. all-new Chamber Dungeon. You can place chambers earned on your adventure to arrange your own dungeons. Mm -hmm. Add in plus effects that alter chambers. Did, no, did they confirm if you like share them online? To a compatible amiibo figure featuring a character from the Legend of Zelda. Oh, series. you save them from that an way, amiibo. Your friends can play them. Be ready. The Legend so you of don't Zelda share them online. Eh, whatever. Before you know it, on September 20th, I mean, I wasn't expecting them to do it, but it would have be been cool. But I guess same day. not. It's whatever. I don't have friends, so. <laughs> You know the hero's might from Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Now join his adventure. No. Dragon Quest I don't have a hundred hours to waste. The Elusive Age Definitive Edition is exactly that. The most complete version of a sprawling adventure story that allows you to choose between HD and 2D graphics. Travel to past Dragon Quest worlds. And experience new character-focused stories. The day the game launches, Free downloadable content Ooh. can be found in the Champions Pack, including consumable items and more equipment that can change the appearance of party members. Ah, he can look like a uh, giant the guy from here. Dragon Quest XI S Echoes of an Elusive Age Definitive Edition <laughs> journeys onto <laughs> Nintendo Switch September 27th. Speaking of Dragon Quest, Dragon Quest Collection. Until then, <laughs> You can prepare for your adventure with the free demo on Nintendo eShop. Speaking of, Drek. <laughs> Alright. They always gotta end with this super long ending of the Overture. 
Looking for more Fire Emblem goodness? Wait, what? Then say hello to Tokyo. Tokyo Mirage Seconds actually happened? The what? Worlds, the Fire Emblem series and Alice games have crossed paths. And the result I de is I didn't think it would actually series. happen. <laughs> Story takes place I thought people were just memeing around. Where creative energy is so abundant, it's materialized into something called performa. This is the definition of a weeaboo game. <laughs> wicked mirages who suck it out of people. You'll face off against the <laughs> I love they got the uh, the shadow to cover up the uh, the, uh, the inappropriate the parts. Business. Fire Emblem characters like Prom and Sita will join you from another dimension. Sita. Together, you'll wage deep turn-based battles. You know, the entire time I thought her name was pronounced like Saeda, but no, it's Sita or like and in um in, the in Europe, it's Shida version, or something. There's a new song that wasn't included in the original. Ooh, Be sure a to new check song. Out the other new features from the new story elements to the characters joining you in battle for the first time. This stuff is still in Japanese hey, is that and Tiki? English. Yeah. Tokyo Mirage Sessions Sharp FE on So that's the on Wii U game 17. for the imported, not Pikmin you can 3. Purchase the game later today. Okay, cool. Welcome back to where nothing is what it seems. Huh? Boston, 2019. Deadly Premonition it all 2. all begins again when FBI agent Aaliyah Davis opens an investigation into an old serial killer case. She also opens a door. This music unknown. sounds very unsettling. I don't like it. <laughs> to New Orleans, 14 years ago. Here, our story follows an FBI agent who goes by the name of York. The journey hey. between past and present will take Aaliyah and York on a winding path. But what lies at the end? Will it be truth or madness? Whoa. Um, Deadly Premonition 2, a blessing uh, in disguise, boggles and I'm scared on Nintendo Switch <laughs> in 2020. And oh. now for a shocker. What? The original game in the series will launch a Nintendo eShop at Deadly Premonition Origins later today. Okay. I mean, cool. <laughs> Divinity Original Sin 2 Definitive Edition is finally coming to Nintendo Switch. I never heard of Check this game. Check it out. I don't know if this is. <laughs> what is it, a MOBA? Become whoever you want to be. Like a MOBA or something, or something like that. Ooh. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Did they just mention Steam on a Nintendo Direct? <laughs> I don't think that was supposed to happen. Today. There's a lot of shadow drops. And now for a message from Bethesda. Oh? Hey Nintendo fans, Pete Hines from Bethesda. On behalf of everyone this at guy. Software, I'm excited to announce <laughs> yes. something really cool that we have coming to Nintendo Switch later this year. Pray. I'm sure many of you have fond memories of spending countless hours playing your favorite games on Nintendo 64. Doom 64. Well, this year is the 25th anniversary of Doom, one of the most popular first person shooter franchises ever. And to celebrate, we're re-releasing one of our favorite games, Doom 64. I knew it! Doom 64! For the first time since its original release in 1997, Doom 64 will be officially available on a Nintendo console. Relive your crusade against the demons in more than 30 action-packed levels. Or, if you're a newcomer, experience the retro first-person shooter that helped make Doom one of the most popular shooter franchises in history. Doom 64 will release on Nintendo Switch on November 22nd this year. Okay, but what about Doom Eternal? <laughs> Is that releasing too? Introducing a brand new IP from developer High Res Studios, Rogue Company. From High Res. For most of the world, Rogue Company is a rumor at best, but its Rogue operatives Company. are the real deal. And don't, one of these elite don't tell me it's a battle royal. Challenges which will require your specialized abilities and tools to combat the infamous organization Jackal. Play against friends or match up with a similarly skilled team online in a variety of objective-based game modes. Okay, Whether so you wield guns, gadgets, you know, and melee wait. weapons. Your playstyle will depend on your choice. Hold on a second. Which 
can be fully customized. Let me look at this for a sec. Maps, weapons, skins, in-game events, and more. You know what this reminds me of? Do you remember that one? Do you remember that game on the that free-to-play game on the Wii U made by Bandai going? Namco? I forget the name Next, of it. The new titles it was like Project Pokemon Project Treasure. Remember that? Sword that reminds me of that. I, I might be into that. Have more information Pokemon, huh? What? Oh. <laughs> hold up, hold up. Please Pokemon. Come on, baby. Give me that surface. Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. Miraculous. In the Gala region, a scenic land where people and Gerder, Pokemon work together toward uh, a prosperous future. Leafeon, the trio, you encounter Lulu. new Pokemon and meet new people throughout your adventure. Oh my gosh, it's a Ganymax. Oh, it's Today, Dynamax. we'll cover four features you can look forward to. Oh, they're doing that thing from Ultra Sun to Ultraman again. First, customizing your look. Okay, how Once good can again, we customize? The latest entry in the series lets you pick your outfit. Uh-huh. This time, it's not just tops and bottoms, oh? but a wide variety including outerwear and gloves. Oh? Oh? Plus, you can change your hairstyle. Oh, finally they let us preview the uh the hairstyles. Or put on a little makeup. <laughs> There's a lot more to becoming a champion than simply honing your battle skills. That was the thing that I wanted them to do. The Thank two, you. <laughs> don't you think? Second, Pokémon Camp. Oh, is this the new uh, Pokémon of me? The Gala region. You can camp any time. Oh, Pokemon I need camp. to analyze this. Oh, is that like all your Pokemon are around? While you're there, you can play with your Pokemon. <laughs> My protection from Twitter was right! They'll also improve in battle. I was like, what if you could play with your Pokemon? I did that in like a in a random area, Pokemon tweet. Visit oh my god! <laughs> Feel free to bring along one of your Pokemon <laughs> and hang out with up to three other players at the camp. We definitely recommend interacting with another player's Pokemon. Third, curry on rice. And you can cook for your Pokemon too? Pokemon Camp is also a great place oh to God. cook up a dish that is very popular in the Gala region. <laughs> curry on rice. How your curry turns out. You can legitimately cook. Is, oh, yes. Ultimately depends on which berries and other ingredients yes, you use. Yes, I'm hype. I'm hype. Not to mention the heart oh. you put into it. That was that was corny. There are more than 100 types. Oh my gosh! And yes. Each one you cook up will be registered in your curry decks. The yes. Goal, to yes. master the art of curry. Wait, huh? that's a new Pokemon. That Pokemon I knew it. There's a teapot Pokemon. And fourth, we'll introduce some new Pokemon discovered in the Gala region. Poltegeist. Normally, it makes no. a home for itself no. by hiding amongst tableware, at hotels, and restaurants. <laughs> Its body is made of tea. What type is it? With its own aroma and flavor. Is it ghost it water? It allow a trusting trainer to taste its tea. This ghost type Pokemon also has a special ability called weak armor. We already Next, know what that does. Another new Pokemon oh. called Cramorant. Oh, look at that thing. This flying and water type Pokemon has one huge appetite. It will swallow anything it can fit in its mouth. Oh, that's isn't that the Pokemon from that leak? Or dive where battle, it's, there's a Pikachu in his beak? Rises from the water, along with the catch in its mouth. Yep. If yeah. If it takes damage in this state, it'll retaliate by spitting out its catch at the attacker. This is Cramorant's exclusive new ability. So, that was from the leak. And that's all we have to share with you today. Oh, you can pose again. Pokemon was that like, like from X and Y? Launch on Nintendo Switch, November oh, 15th. My, that prediction that I really wanted to happen actually happened. Like, I can literally pull up the tweet right now after well, the direct. Well, how about that? There are still two more months until the game releases. I'm speechless. Please look forward to the day you can start your new adventure in the Galar region. Can November so, come already? It's been about a year since we began offering Nintendo Switch online memberships. SNES. With Nintendo Switch Online, we're providing a variety of games and fun features. SNES. And now, we're looking to add in an additional library of games. SNES! It's Super Nintendo Entertainment System Nintendo Thank Switch you. Online. Alright, what games we got? You can play a variety of Kirby Dream Super Course, NES games Mario on World Nintendo 2, Switch. F-Zero, Link to the Past, <clears throat> Mario World. There are some you may not expect. Star Fox. Like Stunt Ray Fix <laughs> So is it literally all of the games from that data mine list from a while time. ago? You can face off or team Puyo up Puyo, Puyo guys by passing a Joy-Con controller to a friend. Or even play together online. Oh, 
and the rewind function will be available from launch. Cool. I mean, <laughs> I wasn't bothered about it, but it cool. Here are the first games we plan to release. All 20 of the games you see on screen will launch tomorrow. Hey! But, um... Of course, we will eventually add more to the lineup. Oh, uh, there's no... Uh, oh, Kirby 3 Man 3! This offer is exclusively available to Nintendo Switch Online members. So please enjoy them at no additional charge. Oh, yeah! You notice no this, additional the charge, my guys! To recapture that the original wave. feel of these games, we will be releasing a Super Nintendo Entertainment System Nintendo Switch Online exclusive controller as a special offer. To, to be honest, it, you can use a USB cable just like the Nintendo Switch Pro Ooh, Controller. Oh, they added the ZR and ZL button. This style controller will be available for purchase exclusively for Nintendo Switch Online members. It Visit only comes with one. website hmm. for the latest information Interesting. on its release. It only comes with one Wouldn't for 30. Wouldn't it be nice cool. to play those games again with one of these controllers? Well, let's move on to some more Nintendo Switch headlines. Yo, this Direct is looking for it is pretty... Hey, I pre I predicted this. this. Pre online members, the large scale puzzle battle. Am I am I a Nintendo prophecy guy? <laughs> Tetris 99 Invictus is here and not okay. for the faint of heart. You can't even play it until you achieve Tetris Maximus status. Can you survive against the best of the best? Aww. Well, good luck. Aww. We're also adding in daily missions for some added challenges. Oh, you clearing these missions. You can acquire tickets and exchange them for a variety of custom themes. Oh, more themes! Sweet! Yes! To showcase your accomplishments. Yes! Yes, thank you! More icons, icons, thank too. you! Beyond that, the second wave of paid DLC is here as well. Can we also buy them all as a pack? Battle mode. Pass a Joy-Con controller to a friend for a two oh. against each other and the CPU. And get together with friends to battle via local wireless on your Nintendo Switch systems in local arena mode. The version oh. 2.0 update for Tetris 99 It's just the uh, local multiplayer tomorrow. stuff. So, a that, package uh, version including the game, whatever. DLC, and a Nintendo Switch Online 12-month individual membership will be available September 6th. Mario and Sonic but, are ready oh to my the old in Tokyo. All the stuff I'm saying is coming Sonic true. At the Olympic Games has become a tradition of its own. This time, <clears> there are more than 20 events, including the 100 meter, karate, football, yeah, let's just punch Mario in the face. Sevens, <laughs> sport climbing, badminton, gymnastics, surfing, and you know what? There's more. I saw the leaked roster, from. and I'm kind of disappointed that Pauline isn't in every Check Mario spinoff. Ten retro style it should happen. <laughs> Each one rocking some sweet 2D style graphics. They're all new, all and retro, you know, and very This reminds me of that one, um, that on one retro-looking sports game that was on games. the Switch. I forget what it's called. Unlocked little characters sports matches. and a story mode I didn't, in which I Mario, never played it. Sonic, I saw like Bowser, it, like, on and Doctor Eggman Let's must play, escape from a game based on the Olympic Games Tokyo cool. 1964. So I, it's cool that they did this. Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games Tokyo 2020 will go for the gold November 5th. Cool, cool. I'm not gonna buy it, but cool. The next Damon X Machina demo will be here sooner than you think. Oh, they're releasing another Ahead demo? Of the full game's release next week. The free demo version, Damon X Machina Prologue Demo, will be available for download later today. I played the, uh, the, this prologue, the beta demo. Man your mech it was alright. It's not a game for me. All of your progress can carry over to so, the full game. for you guys that are if into this game, all power to you. Game, and you're wondering what they're all about. This is the perfect time to take one for a test drive. A key feature of this demo is the co-op mode for up to four players. And we're happy to report that it can be played via local wireless. Ooh. So, gather your friends and make the bosses feel like the little guys. The full game will also support online play. Ooh. Be ready by customizing your mech and honing your skills on missions. What yeah. hides beneath your mech's armor? <laughs> a god or a demon? Oh. Damon X Machina will be oh. ready for action September oh. 13th. Oh, okay. <laughs> the Star Wars classic so fun it's back for more. What? Kyle Katarn, agent of the New Republic, a new is our only. <laughs> they're porting a Star Jedi. Wars game? What? We're at the ready. Blaster and Nani? <clears throat> I didn't expect this. Full power of the force. Courtesy of Aspire. Oh, you know that. Star Wars, you know Jedi this. 2, I Jedi sleep. Outcast, Lego Star Wars. I'm woke. Tell me about Lego Star Wars, please. <laughs> We've got 
got new details on some upcoming games. What time is it? Here's where my journey begins. 6.30. You are Geralt of Rivia, mercenary monster slayer. So we still got a, like 10 or so more minutes. Down a living weapon known as the Child of Prophecy. So yeah, Witcher 3. You'll have a cool. whole world to explore at home and on the go. When the Witcher 3 Wild Hunt Complete Edition comes to Nintendo Switch on October 15th. And all downloadable content and story expansions are along for the ride. Become the most feared pirate in the Caribbean in Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag. <clears throat> then transform into the ultimate yep. assassin hunter in they Assassin's right. Creed Assassin's Rogue. Creed Black That's Flag. two action-packed games for one great value. But not Assassin's Creed DLC Egypt. And new features like touch control and motion aiming coming exclusively to Nintendo Switch <laughs> and Assassin's Creed. Ah, I like Rebel Egypt. Creed. Come on, my guys. Battle for survival. At the I mean, I like the mythology, but in the I never played Egypt. Action RPG Dauntless. Whether Dauntless, you're okay. Looking to take your Slayer on the go. Or a rookie ready to forge your legacy. You'll hone your skills. Not really into craft it. And customize hundreds of gear options. Doesn't look and all that interesting. At least to take me. Down boss size behemoths. As you can see, the folks at Phoenix Labs are adding loads of new content in anticipation of the game's launch on Nintendo Switch. And there's plenty more on the horizon. Open your calendar. More games are on the way. Cool. Oh gosh, it's a it's a it's a sizzle reel. <laughs> oh yeah, just stands for the Wii. Can't wait for that. Great auto sport. Oh no, am I about to get copyright claimed? Farming simulator, we all know you love it. Nino Kuni, cool. NBA, um, no, it's not, this ain't NBA, this is, uh, um, Cash Grab 2K20. <laughs> Call of Cthulhu, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? The Outer Worlds. The, ew, I hear people that, I hear from people that Devil May Cry 2 is a bad game. No one's gonna buy that. Vampire. Okay. Um, that was a awkward. How's everything going? Next up, Animal Crossing: New Horizons. Oh. We revealed many details about the game back in June, so we prepared a video covering what was announced. Let's see, shall we? Oh gosh, it's Tom Nook. Hello there, Nintendo Direct viewers. I'm Tom Nook. You've no doubt you've heard about the Zero Autumn Getaway Package. <laughs> well, I prepared a fun little promotion of video just for you. It's called, Welcome to Island Life. Stop stealing my money, Tom Nook. Thank you for choosing the Deserted Island Getaway Package. This, this, this voice a again. <laughs> back, relaxing time and a haven of nature awaits. For you and the other folks the absolute definition the getaway package, of um the of the advertisement get into the group of deserted island life Go. it may be a deserted island but the resident services building at its center is here to support your needs so there's nothing to worry about for starters we'll provide you with a tent please select the spot where you'd like it set up Oh, so you can actually oh, set, find and a set where you want your else. house. I mean, I'm mean, We'd you like to that. offer you an original Nook Inc. Nook phone. Mm -hmm. It comes pre-installed with a variety of apps for all your deserted island needs, including recipes <clears throat> for crafting tools and furniture. Nice. Let's start by crafting an axe. We're going to need some materials. Yeah, we got Minecraft like and Animal branches. Crossing. <laughs> and stones. Then we'll head to resident services and use the workbench. Grab that axe. You're playing Nicely Minecraft. Done. <laughs> you can use the tools you craft to acquire new materials like this. And with those, you can craft more items. <laughs> Feel free to place furniture inside <laughs> 
outside. Yeah, I hear that be really big from people that you can store you furniture can outside fine -tune now. The arrangement so that the decor expresses your style, and you can fully enjoy the deserted island life. Look at that. Let's smile. head back to resident services. Here we sell tools and furniture. We also Yo, buy your unwanted sounds, items, including any weeds you remove, nice. as part of our Some island weeds. cleanup plan. In addition to the usual in-game currency bells, you can also earn Nook Miles through the Nook Mileage program. You can exchange <clears throat> your miles for special <clears throat> items and recipes. Sorry. You'll earn miles through a host of activities on the island, so be sure so to take advantage of this program. Cool. There are many ways to experience the Look joys at that of life <laughs> on a deserted island. Go fishing. Oh yeah. Catch some bugs. Oh yeah. Tend to flowers. Oh yeah. And pick them to make a garland. You can make a flower crown. Oh my gosh. Thanks to crafting, even weeds have their uses. <laughs> what? <laughs> Nani? A vaulting pole makes it easy to quickly cross a river. So you don't a make bridges? A snack will help you shovel up a tree in no time. What? Plant it somewhere else. How do you put a tree in your? Up in that corner How do you put island. a tree in your pocket? <laughs> The scenery changes with the time and weather. Mm -hmm. Kind of, I guess, any other Animal Crossing. Cloudy days, rainfall, and enough wind to shake the trees. Depending on the time of day and the season, you'll encounter different creatures to catch too. I mean, like any other Animal Crossing, am I right? I've only played New Leaf though. I liked it. I might get this game sociable types who live together on the same island can play simultaneously up to four players at a time on oh one gosh. system it's a, it's nogami's uh, avatar and working together in the same space with a local wireless or internet connection you can travel to another player's island for a total of eight players in one visit nice nice the whole scene feels meant to be and you can take snap pictures. a photo with everyone and make it a lasting memory. Nice. Can you go swimming? Most deserted you island life Aww. looking. Well, you what can run. What shown you here today is truly just the beginning. There's so much more waiting to be discovered. So many activities, animals to encounter, and more calling to you from the island. I caught a snowflake. We can't <laughs> wait for you to experience the Nook Inc. Deserted Island Getaway Package. What's that? Did you just throw bait? Animal Crossing New Horizons on March 20th, 2020. Now give me your money. Signed, Tom Nook. <laughs> so, how'd it look? <clears throat> There's still a bit more time until the game launches, so please stay tuned. All right, the next game will be our last announcement of the day. Aww. Please give it a look. It's a Wario Land. <laughs> no, it's Pikmin 4. Or, no, it's Mario Odyssey 2. It's Xenoblade 3. Xenoblade Chronicles X2. It looks like a Xenoblade. So yeah, they were spot on with, um, with saying that a monolith game would end, would close the... Uh... Xenoblade 1? It's getting ported? What? I mean, they're saving a port. Do you wish to change it? They're, they're saving huh? a port for... Um, they're the saving future. a port for the last game? <laughs> Xenomay Chronicles Definitive Edition. Uh, that's kind of... <laughs> That's kind of a, a, an underwhelming way to end your direct. Uh, uh. And then Shadow Drop. Xenoblade Chronicles X coming out and not coming out right now. <laughs> 2020. Yeah. I mean, cool. I'm not really hyped. Monolith Soft's Xenoblade Chronicles, which originally released in 2012 on the Wii system, is destined to be reborn on Nintendo Switch as Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition. I wanted X! <laughs> the game is planned for release in 2020. Please look forward to more announcements in the future. I wanted X! That's it for today. Thank you for watching. Alright, let's watch the Banjo-Kazooie demonstration. 
That was a pretty underwhelming way to indirect. I'm not gonna lie. Uh. Uh. But yeah, wait. Let me pull this up for you. Hold up, Sakurai. Hello, everyone. I'm Masahiro Sakurai, director of the Super Smash Bros. Ultimate game. In our last showcase, I talked a little bit about Hero. Today, I'd like to show you all how to use Banjo and Kazooie. I'm scrolling all the way up. I'm trying to find it. You may feel like some time has passed since our Hero showcase, but we're actually recording this only two days after that broadcast. <laughs> this sure guy! Even this guy's a classic! <laughs> Now that you hear the people laughing in the back and they're like, oh my gosh, Sakurai, please stop. <laughs> you may remember in the Hero Showcase, I was playing by myself using two controllers like this. This guy's a master! With Hero, if you cast spells using command selection, any opposing heroes will block those attacks automatically using their shield. So in the background, I was actually using the second controller to make the hero look away or do moves so my attacks would connect. Oh, you sly dog! Today I have my controllers set up side by side, but back in the GameCube days, I lined them up vertically, like this. Try doing this with the Nintendo Switch Pro controllers, however, and you'll end up accidentally pressing the L and R buttons. So even though it's Sakurai, I do it like this now. Sakurai, this, around, this guy plays with two Pro two controllers. Once, kind of like Banjo and Kazooie, two characters acting as one. All right, let's get started. I love this man. So, what is Banjo-Kazooie? Well, in terms of genre, it's similar to Super Mario 64, and it was mm -hmm. first released on I Nintendo play it. I never got to. back in 1998. The character Banjo made his first appearance a year earlier in a game called Diddy Kong Racing. Oh After boy. that, Banjo-Kazooie was released, and then Banjo-Tooie. Two titles were then released for Game Boy Advance, although they never came to Japan. And then there's Banjo Kazooie, nuts Not and bolts, oh! was released on Xbox 360. Why is Xbox on a Nintendo stream? <laughs> As some of you may know, the Banjo Kazooie IP now belongs to Microsoft. This guy is getting all into it. No holds barred. Technically, they're a rival platform holder. Uh -huh. Even so, they were happy for Banjo and Kazooie to join the Super Smash Bros. series. And for that, for I am that, grateful. I'm extremely grateful. I know he was gonna say that. Rare also <laughs> welcomed us with open arms. So, if you want to play Banjo Kazooie today, you can do so on Xbox. <laughs> I know this this guy! Broadcast, Stop! But please give the game a try on Xbox. Stop it, Sakurai! <laughs> now let's talk about the music. The Banjo Kazooie series this guy's hilarious. has a country feel to it. If we were to include this music in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate as is, it wouldn't really match the atmosphere of battle, so we put a lot of effort into arranging the music for the game. I love this man. We'd like to play for you several of these arrangements during the showcase. Up here. Song name goes here. Yes, here. You'll see the track names. Sakurai, okay. you're amazing. Let's take a look at the fighter. Sakurai, Sakurai. <laughs> Banjo and Kazooie! So this is Banjo and Kazooie in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. There's Kazooie. We're using a special... Oh, I found today. it! I found so it! So the camera is a bit different from okay, the production Look at this. version. Look at this tweet that I made, August 25th. Uh -oh. included lots of Imagine Banjo something like playing games like Hide and Seek or something with them. So wholesome. Example, I really hope we have more ways to interact the with them besides refresh. And I got it right! are based on abilities like Flap Flip and Feathery Flap. Their neutral attack is called Claw Swipe. Claw this swipe. ability looks similar to this in the original game, but we build upon the original motion so it better fits the action of our game. I'm like, oh my gosh. Their flurry I can't believe I got it right. <laughs> their dash rap. attack is a forward roll, which is something Donkey Kong uses as well. This move is a pretty useful. <laughs> Look at the Final Destination version of the stage. It's funny. It's just bar. spinning around. Their up smash is Bill Drill. Bill Drill. It looks a bit different from their original games, but the animation. Guys, I'm a banjo main now. Consecutive attack. 
In Japanese, their side smash is called <clears throat> Harisen Kazooie. Harisen Kazooie is a word that only exists in, in Japanese. Japanese, so I was curious what this move would be called in the West. In English, it's called Regal Bash. Regal Bash. I think Regal is the type of bird Kazooie is, so this basically means bird bash, which is bird pretty bash. <laughs> You just their slam your friend on the ground. <laughs> Their back air is an air rat -tat rat which hits three times. Their down air is Beak Buster, which they use to downstab as they drop. Ah, it's one of those down airs. <laughs> as you can see, even their regular attacks are based on attacks from their original games. The down uh -huh. taunts were something that existed in the Banjo-Kazooie series too. The upton is based on an animation from Banjo Kazooie Nuts and Bolts where Banjo sometimes stretches. Uh -huh. Now I'd like uh -huh. to go over their special moves. First, their neutral special is egg firing. It's pretty much their go-to move. The eggs bounce. And by holding down the button when launching the eggs, you'll do the attack you see here. Regal Blaster. Yes! Choke! Hold on to your friend like a freaking gun, and then just blast away like. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> why does Bazo why does Kazooie put up with ban put fire, up with Banjo's nonsense? They must be so friends for life. <laughs> you can cancel it by crouching or pressing the shield button. Hey, there's a Next, thing. Their side special is Wonder Wing. Wonder Wing. As in the original game, it's an invincible charging attack. Can you use it in the air? It's fairly powerful and, and will basically win against any other attack. It has priority or most, However, most attacks. However, you can see some feathers above Banjo's head. There are five of them in total, and I just use up all of them. After using them up, you won't be able to use the attack again until you lose a stock. Oh, Since the interesting! the uses of Wonder Wing only appear above their heads once activated, you'll really need to make sure you hammer the number of uses into your head. You can use it as a recovery. Okay, action. it is a recovery. And since it's likely to trump counterattacks, it doesn't have many disadvantages. But it does have a weak point. If it's blocked with a shield, for instance, you'll be wide open to attack. In I mean, addition, I expected that. You can be grabbed during the oh, shield. you can be grabbed? Oh, no. At any rate, keep track of how many Wonder Wing uses you have left. Yeah, good and thing they did that because that move would have been spammed AF. Make sure to take action against this attack and remember to keep an eye on it. It's important to keep this in mind. I mean, it would make really so cool like their up special, Shock Spring Jump. Shock spring this jump. move utilizes the Shock Spring Pad from their original game. There are a few things to note. First, you can hit your opponents with the Shock Spring. What's with the third party? What's with like third party cartoony uh, upbeat character upbeat also, being like something that they drop from the bottom? Specials <laughs> that carry the fighter upward, in that you're still able to jump in midair after using it, meaning you can jump twice in a row. That's really cool. So if you're falling, you can use it like this: jump and then dodge, increasing your ability to recover. That's really cool. That's what I thought. By the way, the height of a shock spring jump will change depending on how long you hold the button down. Okay. Note the slight difference in height. Next, for their down special, rear egg, they'll rear fire egg. a grenade out of his backpack. It's a grenade egg. This is a slightly odd projectile in that it can only be launched behind the fighter. <laughs> Very strange. And because the grenade egg is football shaped, its bouncy trajectory can be unpredictable. After a certain time, it will explode. I think it will be a useful tool for keeping opponents just poops in out a grenade. It's That's treated like an normal. item, so you can pick it up and throw it. <clears throat> Your opponents can also throw it back at you. But its detonation sequence is relatively short. So both you and your opponents will need to make sure you throw it. Yeah, much shorter than something like Link's bombs. Still holding it. I guess there are a lot of different ways to use this ability. Sakurai, stop trying to con stop so trying to flex. Their final smash is the mighty Ginginator. Yes. The mighty Ginginator is what delivered the final blow to Gruntilda in their original game. This move will send your opponents flying.
Spiral Mountain. Hey. It's probably not going to be legal. Kurukuriyama in Japan, but in the West, it's called Spiral Mountain. As you can see, it's a mountain where the bottom portion is a spiral shape. A rotation icon will appear. Oh? And the stage will spin. Oh, this what? is quite unusual, even for the Super Smash Brothers series. It's truly unique. Anything on the stage, items or otherwise, will also move. As the stage turns, the shape of Spiral Mountain will also transform, meaning your recovery points will also oh. change. That's very interesting! Platforms like this will appear from time to time. A bridge will also appear when Gluntilda's lair is visible. I wonder... I wonder how the stage will look in uh, Hazard's off mode. Both the fighter Could this be legal? Let's I mean, I, the, the one that looked battles. like the basic form, it kind of looked like, uh, kind of looked like Kalos. I don't want another Kalos, I want something unique. This time, I'll be taking on not just one, but two fighters in a team Whoa, battle. Sakurai, calm down. <laughs> Donkey Kong and Diddy Kong versus Banjo and Kazooie. Hang on, so there are actually two on my side too? So I should be fine, right? Probably not. In fact, definitely not. Looks like I'm gonna get beaten up pretty bad if I just stand around. Looks like I'm gonna so get beaten up. Carefully. Yeah, it kinda looks like Kalos, but the um but Your the main stage is smaller and then the uh, other platforms are longer. Well, uh, hey, I, I can dig it. Can use moves, if that's what the stage was like it has us off, we'll make good I, I'm use definitely of down. We take them on. That stage will definitely be legal. Like if it doesn't spin no, like and have us off. Hmm. Uh -huh. I think we're doing pretty good so far. I have two opponents, and since items are on, they'll have twice as many. Man, this video is gonna be a gonna items. be very, very and troublesome to upload because it's gonna be like an hour long. Can use it twice. But I'm, yeah, it's worth it. I'm at quite a disadvantage, but I'm going to try my hardest. I can use Wonder Wing two more times. Oops, I guess I should be explaining all their moves, huh? Auto fire, auto fire. Ooh, ouch. Oh, their final smash meter's filled up. You can have that. Now. And. Nice. Hey! Now that there's one less opponent, this should be easier. <laughs> Star KO. I do want to use a final smash, but it might be a bit tough. Oh, that's good. Sakurai! And final smash. I forced him out, so Sa I win. Sakurai. Banjo picks up a jiggy from the original game. Gaha? Uh -huh. <laughs> Does Sakurai just do the gaha? Uh -huh? That's a wrap. Stop! <laughs> Stop, Sakurai. <laughs> cameos? Ooh. I'd also like to talk about some of the cameos that liven up the stage. First, we have the witch Gruntilda. In Banjo-Kazooie, this poor soul gets sealed underground by a boulder. Anyway, she's very cool, and you can hear all about her from her sister, Gruntilda. This is Bottles, a mole, and another poor soul. His fate is sealed in the beginning of Banjo 2. He's a friend of Banjo and Kazooie. Bottles. Next is Mumbo Jumbo. Mumbo Jumbo. This poor soul. Hey guys, look, it's that guy from Tekken and Taro Juju. <laughs> no, no, he helps you out in many ways throughout the game. And we have Tootie. Can you spot her? She's running at the bottom. <laughs> oh, wow. She's tiny and can barely even make her out. But by zooming in, you can see all the detail. Oh, can you, can you zoom in in the camera that much? Probably not. You could probably make an action game just using this. She's raising havoc on the vegetable patch for some reason. And after that, she strikes an enigmatic taunt. 
Sakurai, don't tease us. Don't tell me, hey guys, we're also developing a Banjo Kazooie. Look at her this way, but this soul is actually. Sora Limited is now developing Banjo Kazooie 3. You understand how miserable she really is if you saw the game over scene in Banjo Kazooie. Oh, maybe she's not going home. And here come the Jinjos. We saw some of these a short while ago when the mighty Jinjinator appeared. They come in many different colors and were hidden throughout the world by Gruntilda in the original game. So you could say they're also sad souls. Sad. And now we see something floating around in the background. <laughs> these are basic enemy characters called Buzz Bombs. But since they can float around, they're lucky enough to have made the cut in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. So, uh... <laughs> this is what they look like close up. <laughs> These guys laughing in the it's background. It's basically a dragonfly, right? We put a lot of thought into the guest characters as well, and we put a lot of effort into these hard-to-see areas. So I hope you enjoy it. Sakurai looks like he needs some sleep. <laughs> How many songs? Next, let's talk music. As I mentioned earlier, we're taking country-style music and adapting it for use in battle. We're including a total of 10 music tracks. Not bad. Of these, seven are entirely <coughs> new arrangements. All right. I've always thought that getting all this for $5.99 is a fantastic deal. So, I hope you enjoy it. The music for Spiral Mountain was arranged by Grant Kirkhope. He created the original uh -huh. Banjo Kazooie's music. I've worked with many musicians over the years, but this is the first time I've worked with a musician outside of Japan. Nice, nice. I was a bit worried about whether my directions would be understood, but he did an absolutely wonderful job. Look at that, Grand Coco created that pace. Each of the new tracks has been carefully tailored to match the action taking place on screen. It would have been funny if they also included music from like Conquer's Bad Fur Day or something. Ooh, well we got some new updates! Alongside the launch of Banjo and Kazooie, there will also be a software update. What we getting? <clears throat> We're very pleased with the sales of Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. <laughs> this guy! <laughs> And to express our appreciation, we've added another game mode, which will pretty much be our final new mode. What? I'm going to go ahead and play, so please take a look. <laughs> Let me guess, it's home run contest. Yup. Here it is. You need to damage the sandbag in front of you as much as possible. And with this bat, not with this, but this bat. And off it goes. Hi. Maybe a little too high. <laughs> oh no! They and brought so, back. They brought back home, home run contest. contest makes its return. Oh yeah. It's been powered up in various ways compared to previous home run contests. So please Wait, enjoy. Wait, why is Sandbag blushing? This time Sandbag <laughs> has flown 300 kilometers. I think that's about the distance from Tokyo to Nagoya. That's if you drive on the Tome Expressway. <laughs> Sakurai, stop! <laughs> you can actually play with a second player. Could, it'd be fun if we could play this online. That'd Let's really give it a go. Attack, attack, keep attacking using both players. Time to strike. Here we go. Poor sandbag. He is just like, I'm gone. No. <laughs> this isn't how you're supposed to play the game. When I say two players can take part, I mean friends can play together. And not one person playing as two fighters. <laughs> Sakurai! <laughs> I hope you play this with your friends. <laughs> What? In shared content, oh. many people have uploaded their customized Mii Fighters. Oh, so you can like change the moves of the Mii's. Up until now, it may have been a little difficult to use since you were not able to customize their special moves. But moving forward, you will be able to freely customize their special moves. Okay. If you find a Mii Fighter that you like the look of, you can freely download them and set the special moves however you want and play as them. Okay, that's actually, I really like However, that. This will not be applied to Mii Fighters created before this software update, and only applies to Mii Fighters created after the update. Ah, we gotta so re-upload our Mii. Re your Mii Fighters. We gotta re-upload them? Come on, man. Please enjoy many different varieties of Mii Fighters. We will add in some Mii Fighter costumes as well. Ooh. Please take a look. Minecraft Steve! <laughs> you hear that, guys? Minecraft Steve is here! 
<laughs> Watch it happen. Watch. Watch. What? That's too fast. Go, Iman. Nani? <laughs> Nani? I didn't expect that. <clears throat> Mega Man? Hold up, fam. Okay, the Proto Man one's back. Mega Man X? What was it, X? No, zero. <coughs> All right. Anything else? Anything new? What? We're getting Pokemon? Oh, Team Rocket? What? <laughs> Hold up! Oh, I'm out. I'm done. Come on, guys. Get it. No! Sand! Sand? A new remix in... Don't tell me, un don't tell me Undertale's coming, getting a character too. Oh Lord, oh! I'm later, later today. Oh my gosh, today's gonna be a day. We've added a costume for Sans from Undertale, who was a popular request. And this Sans outfit also comes with a music track. This it's a remix of Megalovania. So you can check it out there. The arrangement was made by none other than the creator of Undertale himself, Toby Fox. Oh my gosh! We get a character Toby too? Toby actually visited my house and we played Super Smash Bros. Ultimate together. <laughs> what? <laughs> he was actually really good. Of all the guests, he was probably the strongest. Wow! Toby Fox visited Sakurai. Played, the win ratio was about half and half. Or I may have been losing. <laughs> Sakurai. Next, I'd like to talk about a new set of amiibo that will soon be available. Give me that ivy sword. Give me that ivy sword, please. Ivy sword. <laughs> he just gotta go around his entire office just to look for the amiibo. And Snake. I wonder why he was hiding. They will each be available on September 20th. I love this man. I'm getting Ivysaur. The software update, including the Banjo and Kazooie DLC, will be available today. $5.99. For $5.99, you can be like me. <laughs> they added a Sans costume. Huh? Terry Bogard, uh-oh. As mentioned in Nintendo Direct, uh -oh. Terry Bogard will be joining Super Smash Bros. It's Terry Bros. time, guys. Although we showed the reveal trailer, there was hardly any in-game footage. Some of you may wonder where the in-game footage is. There is no in-game footage. Nicely. There is no footage. <laughs> but we weren't quite ready to include it in the reveal. That SNK Neo Geo opening was fun, wasn't it? It was pixel art. It was cool. I liked it. I'd like to show you just a little bit of in-game footage of Terry. Ooh, a Here sneak peek. We get a sneak peek. Is this Final Smash? Uh, oh, that's all we're getting. Finally. <clears throat> it was and that was a new stage. We'll be working on even more DLC fighters. Uh huh. To Frisk! Me, it feels like the finish line is sliding farther away. <laughs> Sakurai's like, please save me. <laughs> you may wonder, how much longer can he be involved with Super Smash Bros. Ultimate? But I'm also excited. The first edition, the first additional character will be Frisk from Undertale. Will be added to the series. More game worlds. Will and you ultimately, be that means that there will be an even greater opportunity to delight the fans. <laughs> At the same time, 
I feel that Super Smash Bros. Ultimate is now representing so many characters in game world that it's become an enormous game. Oh yeah, it's kind of getting a bit big. A Even little bit. If the Super Smash Bros. series continues moving forward, I doubt there will ever be an opportunity to bring this many characters together again. Oh. <laughs> when so Smash 6 comes out, it's like, oh, 30 character possible. roster. <laughs> and I will continue to work hard at developing the game. I appreciate your support. That's it for today. Thank you very much. I know Sakura is probably like, come on, guys, can you just let me sleep? <laughs> okay, that was a really amazing direct. Um, besides the, the fact that they ended the direct with uh, Xenoblade remastered. I'm like, I would have been hyped for Xenoblade X, but the original, you guys re released that like two times already. It's not really very exciting, but hey, everything else was really cool. Oh my gosh, we got Sans as a meat gunner outfit. I didn't ex I didn't think that <laughs> Sans. I didn't expect that. <laughs> Everyone's in the chat like Sans. <laughs> oh and the, and speaking of speaking of Undertale, Toby Fox is doing the soundtrack for town. Like what? That's weird. And I predicted Pokemon stuff, like Man, and I predicted a couple other things. I'm like, man, <laughs> I was a little bit, uh, a little bit on with those predictions. Um, I'm really hyped. Everything's gonna, this game's, everything's gonna be exciting. And then I am hoping to maybe, um, get to downloading Banjo tonight. Hopefully the servers don't crash. <laughs> um, trying out the new modes and buying Sands. <laughs> And also, this is the first time Pokemon let, you know, them give, do me costumes. We've never had a Pokemon me costume. Hype. I mean, it is Team Rocket, but mm, <laughs> it would have been even cooler, cooler if it was a Team Skull outfit. I would have bought that. I mean, I'll still buy the outfit, but this hell, you know, Pokemon that we want more. But, yeah. And we got Tokyo Mirage Sessions instead of Pikmin 3. Cool. Okay. But, yeah. Bef this th this video is way too long. It's like an hour. Oh my gosh, an hour and twelve minutes. Um, yeah, <laughs> we're gonna stop. Uh, I got this upload is probably gonna take like ten hours to upload. But anyway, uh, this has been Grab the Ghost, and I hope to see you guys in a future video, probably with me re playing banjo. Um, yeah, hope you guys have a great day or night or whatever. See ya.